chose to study in Melbourne, Australia, um, because mo mainly I wanted a chance to you know, live in a different country and kind of experience life in a completely different part of the world from where I'm from. Um, so I I've already lived and worked in the US and in Asia. So I just kind of wanted a chance to you know, live in a different country, get you know, more international perspective on business and life and things like that. And you know, I always hear Australia is such a great place to live. Like all my friends, you know, they go to Australia and think it's you know, a lot of fun. And you always hear about how Melbourne's constantly rated the most uh, livable city in the world. And um, yeah, uh, last summer I actually came to visit Australia and I visited Melbourne and Sydney. And um, you know, both cities were nice, but once I you know, um, came to Melbourne, and I started to realize, wow, this really is a nice city. You know, like they weren't kidding about you know, world's most livable city. Like a lot of great bars, cafes, the weather was nice. People were really friendly, so yeah, well, wasn't a very uh, difficult choice after that. So I chose Melbourne Business School because, well, when I was first uh, researching uh, business schools, you know, of course I start with the rankings, and you'll see, you know, most of the rankings there aren't that many Australian business schools in them, and you know, if you're looking for schools in the Melbourne area, there's pretty much only one, which is MBS, Melbourne Business School. So, you know, looking at that, it's like pretty much a no-brainer. And of course, you know, Melbourne Business School it does have a very good reputation here. You know, like part of the school is actually owned by you know, um, the, the corporate uh, world here. So it has a good reputation, uh, it's highly ranked, and it has good connections to industry. My advice for anyone plan, planning to study in Australia is um, just come here with an open mind because, okay, let's say you come from a country that's, you know, relatively homogenous. So when you come to Australia, you'll be, you know, Australia is one of the most multicultural uh, countries in the world. So you'll be surrounded by people from completely different backgrounds from you. So you might be tempted to just kind of stay you know, with the people that look like you, talk like you, act like you, you know, because that's where your comfort zone is. Um, but you should really make an effort to uh, step out of your comfort zone, get to know the people that are different from you, because that's where you can get a lot of your learning done, you know, being able to see things from their perspective.